What is up gamers? Another generic intro for your boy game aside here. We have the game Hello Neighbor that just came out today and we have a boy that looks like he's 30 years old. That's awesome. And then he's like, oh no, something's happening in the house over there. I don't like my neighbor. And then he's like, wah, 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 wah. And then as a nosy little kid, you're going to be like, ooh, I'm going to find out what that is. But there might be some trials and tribulations along the way and that guy might be trying to kill you. Have fun. Oh, we like to keep it short and sweet here on Lamus side, so what you'll be doing is running away from the crazy neighbor and trying to figure out all the secrets that this man might hide in his house. For going through this, every time he catches you, you don't necessarily die, but he keeps learning all these different things that you're doing. So he'll set up cameras in the house, you'll go different ways, if you break the back window, he'll start boarding up the windows, and it's up to you in each act to figure out what's going on. So this game is classified as a horror and puzzle game, and I kind of want to throw out the whole horror thing right away. Um, it does have some horror aspects, dark lighting, and some themes that could be connected to horror, but not all of it really connects in a horror type of way. So the main reason why I'm saying this is yes, you're running away from a guy and he sees you and he chases you and there's scary music and it thumps when you get close to him. but. It, it's always the same animation, and sometimes it can be very glitchy, so it's really not that scary most of the time. So Hello Neighbor's claim to fame is having a very advanced AI, you keep going through the back windows, so he starts boarding up the back windows. Well, what happens if he boards himself into his own room and he can't get out and I can complete the whole act without him hurting me? Or the fact that I'll be running away from him and he'll jump a thousand feet in the air and fly around the map, or run through walls and kill me unfairly. And there's many other bugs as well, like sticking a chair through a door and he can't get through the door at all. And with all these bugs presented, some are funny and aren't game breaking, but I don't know, are all these really excusable? Oh, and the fact my game froze four times. Yep, four. And so the puzzles are fun, and I think almost anyone could solve them within time. Uh, I don't think anyone's really too difficult. With someone who struggles with puzzles like myself, I still felt like there was a challenge, but I could still complete them within time if I thought about it. So despite a bunch of the bugs that Hello Neighbor does have, when it does play according to plan, it is really fun, and I really enjoy it. And don't even get me started on the Xbox achievements. God, I have no clue what they are, but can't wait to see. Okay, so the art direction, I dig it. A little cartoony style mixed with a, and with when it comes to cartoony, when you're having a man kind of evolve with children, it does make it a lot more creepy and scary when you have this cartoon, because cartoons are supposed to give you kind of the feeling of, oh, everything's happy and great, but when it gets turned on its side, I really enjoy the art direction of this just for that fact, and it really feels that throughout few levels. So I usually talk about storyline at the beginning to get it out of the way, but this is not, I don't want to get this out of the way. This is really great. I really enjoy by, the characters don't really talk, but by using symbolism and a few movements, you can really convey a story that really gets to the player, and I really enjoy this, and it's definitely worth looking at. So here's the question, Hello Neighbor is a $30 title. Hey, lame side, is it worth $30? Honestly, with the current state that it's at, as much as I enjoy a lot of the parts of the game, I think the game got very overhyped and they thought they could sell the game for $30, which is definitely a good assumption. But I don't enjoy the fact that it's that, it should be $25.20. I would personally say it's slightly overpriced for a consumer who's really, really wanting to pay for this title and they've been really excited for it, but nonetheless, it is a very good game with a bunch of bugs still, but I still feel like a player who's really excited for this game can enjoy all the things that this game has to offer. Thank you so much guys and three girls who are watching this. If you would like to see my speed run of Act 1 and how to glitch the hell out of the game and see how you can do it too, uh, the link will be in the description.